I got so I apologize to you. Thank you. Guys, it was all my fault. I'm taking for a tour of the old neighborhood. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and we appreciate you joining us here uh, this afternoon. Picked a great afternoon for an announcement. Uh, just before I introduce Senator Markey, we do want to recognize uh, many elected officials that we have here in attendance. Uh, Senator Mike Brady, who we'll hear from in a couple moments. State Representative Jerry Cassidy is with us here today. Uh, Ward 6 City Councilor Jack Lally is present today. From the Southeastern Regional School Committee, Mark Lindy is here with us today. And uh, the president of uh, Firefighters Local 144, Bill Hill, is here with us today. So we appreciate everyone uh, joining us uh, for the senator's visit. Um, we uh, truly do appreciate the senator taking the time to come to Brockton today. He's been a regular visitor to the city. Uh, just back in April, uh, the senator held a town hall meeting at the War Memorial that was uh, a great event. And uh, just three months later, we have the privilege of having him back here again. Um, shortly after I was first elected in 2014, about a month later in February of 2014, uh, at that time Senator Markey uh, held a summit in Taunton in response to the uh, emerging opioid overdose crisis. And he brought uh, President Obama's drug czar with him, Gil Kerlikowski, and um, Senator Markey really stood, stood to the forefront that day and took a leadership role in helping all of the communities in Massachusetts respond to the overdose crisis. And uh, we had an opportunity to really sit down and speak at length the first time then, and I've got to tell you that since then, uh, Brockton has really enjoyed a great working relationship with Senator Markey, and uh, it's my privilege to welcome him back to the city again today. Senator? Wow. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and uh, thank you for being uh, a great champion. Thank you for being a great champion in this great city of champions. And uh, we do go back to that uh, first meeting in Taunton uh, in February of uh, 2014. And uh, what you've done in uh, Brockton is to create a model uh, for how people who are suffering as part of this opioid crisis to be able to deal with it. And, uh, and I learned about the opioid crisis, not from the medical community, not from the, uh, not from the pharmaceutical industry, but I learned about it from the fire departments. I learned about it from the first responder community. They are the ones who were talking about this epidemic long before the medical community did because they were there every single day responding to this then heroin, now fentanyl epidemic uh, across our whole country. Uh, but I had the first summit here with Gil Kurlikowski, uh, who was the drug czar for the nation at that time uh, over in Taunton. The mayor came, uh, the mayor acted, the mayor implemented uh, strategies which are models not just for our state but for the whole rest of the country on these issues and a lot of it is just done in conjunction with in partnership with the fire department here. because that's where you learn you know from the police and the fire uh, here in um, Brockton but across the entire country so I want to thank um, Chief uh, Michael Williams thank you for all of your great leadership uh, I'm here with uh, my great friend, uh, State Senator Michael uh, Brady, uh, with uh, uh, your great state representative, uh, Jerry Cassidy. Uh, I know Jack Lally is here, Mark Lindy is here. Uh, we want to thank you all for your service to uh, our region uh, and to this great city. Now, across the Commonwealth, our firefighters put their lives on the line every single day as they bravely respond to emergency calls. And nowhere is that more true than right here in Brockton. The Brockton Fire Department works tirelessly serving their community. In 2016, one year, they responded to more than 25,000 incidents. 
That makes them one of the busiest fire departments in the entire United States and the number one busiest fire department in all of Massachusetts on a per capita basis. Roughly 1,000 of those incident responses involve firefighters having to charge into enclosed buildings full of dangerous and blinding smoke. The risk of smoke inhalation makes a perilous job even more dangerous. Our firefighters are heroes, but sometimes heroes need help. And that is why this new funding from FEMA is so important. Working in partnership with the city, with the mayor, with his great team, we have been able to secure a $578,000 FEMA assistance to firefighters grant. This funding will go towards self-contained breathing apparatus units uh, and a fill station. So this was hard fought down in Washington, but Brockton made the case, the city made the case, the mayor made the case, and we're here today celebrating. Uh, and uh, I partnered um, down in Washington with Congressman Lynch uh, and his great staff to ensure uh, that uh, we would be successful, along with Senator Elizabeth Warren. That's all part of the teamwork you need in order to win at a national level. And that's what Brockton is announcing here today, because we all agree that the Brockton Fire Department deserves the tools they need to continue saving and succeeding. These new funds are going to allow the department, again, to purchase self-contained breathing apparatus and a new air filling station for those units so that the firefighters putting themselves directly in harm's way will have a safe and reliable source of air to breathe. These additional protections will make one of the most efficient fire departments in the nation even more efficient. And importantly, they will make these firefighters safer in the line of duty. So we thank the fire um, department for everything they do every single day. Uh, our job is to just help you do your job even better. That is why this $578,000 uh, dollar grant is coming your way because your record has proven that you deserve it, that you're the best. And I'm proud to be here today uh, with the chief and with the mayor and all the rest of the elected officials to announce this uh, phenomenal success. So congratulations, Mr. Mayor. Thank you so much, Senator. And uh, as much as I always look forward to seeing you, I do like it a little bit better when you bring good news and a big check, so it's, it's really nice to have you here today. Um, at this time, I'd like to uh, bring up uh, our fire chief, Mike Williams, uh, so that he can share with us in a little bit more detail uh, the importance and, and uh, the use of this equipment that we'll now be able to purchase with this uh, grant award of over half a million dollars. Chief? Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Senator Markey, for being here today. Also for all your hard work, as you mentioned, in Washington. I'd also like to extend my thanks to Congressman Lynch and Senator Warren for their hard work, as the, as the Senator mentioned. And again, thank you to Mayor Carpenter. As you mentioned, uh, I know on several of his visits to Washington, he was uh, advocating for this grant. So thank you to him. Um, thank you all for joining us here today. Um, it's a very exciting day for the Brockton Fire Department. As the, as the Senator spoke on um, this is very important equipment for our department uh, protects our firefighters allows us to go um, into places where normally we couldn't um, the grant of five hundred seventy eight hundred thousand dollars will be purchasing a new air filling station a new air compressor 90 self-contained breathing apparatus units 180 air cylinders for those units and 177 face pieces so again, uh, on behalf of the Brockton Fire Department, I'd like to thank everyone involved, and uh, thank you for coming today. Thank you, Chief.
would also uh, like to introduce uh, State Senator Mike Brady for a few comments. Thank you, Mayor. And uh, speaking of that breathing apparatus, before I became a state senator, I was the vice chairman of public safety in the House of Representatives, and I saw firsthand the training facility up in Stowe. And going through the training that these firefighters did, and it was a small, minuscule piece of what they did in their training, and I know they do a great job training in Brockton, but I could have used that breathing apparatus going through the training that they did up there. Uh, it was just incredible. And I. Brockton Fire Department is one of the best in the nation, if not the best in Squad A on Pleasant Street, which is right up the street from where I grew up and still live in the neighborhood, had the highest number of calls in the country, never mind just in the Commonwealth, in the country time and time again. And we are recognizing the Commonwealth as the best fire department in the Commonwealth, and I want to thank all our public safety personnel. We just came from a tough day, a funeral in Hanover for a police officer that uh, unfortunately had been murdered and uh, we're dealing with the opiate addiction crisis because I found out through some things that he was released from another facility and should have never been released. But we've got to go after these health insurance companies to make sure they protect our residents because with health insurance coverage and everything else, it never would have got to the situation it did. But in Massachusetts, unlike the rest of the country, we work together. And, and I hate to use the analogy like the Patriots with Tom Brady, I'm certainly no relation is in much better shape than I am, but we work together from our federal delegation with Senator Markey, Senator Warren, Congressman Lynch, to our local state delegation. I know Representative Cassidy is here, Representative Cronin is uh, on a conference committee because we're finding out, we finalized the budget this week, but we also have some important piece of legislation we have to get done by the end of this month. She wishes she could be here, but she's another leader in the uh, Commonwealth of Massachusetts and also Representative Dubois, and we have a great team at the state level, but you know, we also work with our local officials, and we have a great working relationship with our mayor, Bill Carpenter, our city council, I know Council Lally is here, and the rest of the council, and our local school committee officials. So without working together, none of this would be possible, but it starts with the leadership at the congressional level, and our U.S. Senator Ed Markey, I want to thank you from the bottom of our heart, because these grants are so important, in a city like Brockton, it doesn't have the resources like some of the wealthy communities. It's even more important that we are delivering this goods to the city of Brockton. So thank you, Senator. Thank you. We appreciate all your work. You've been a great advocate on behalf of our community, a great friend for us in Brockton. So God bless you. Well, I, I do appreciate uh, the, the comments uh, from both the, the Senator and the Chief uh, referencing the team approach uh, that was successful with this grant application and I would be remiss if I didn't uh, mention uh, Deputy, Deputy Fire Chief Albanese uh, who was the point person in this effort uh, and uh, also on that team with the Deputy Chief Paul Yamano, our citywide grants coordinator uh, and others that contributed but uh, Deputy Chief Albanese did an outstanding job uh, leading this effort and uh, we appreciate their efforts and, and their willingness to all work together. Uh, we, we do have the opportunity to get down and meet with Senator Markey three or four times a year. And I think when you see an announcement like today, that's, that's the fruits of some of that labor. And uh, the Senator is always great when, we're, when we do go down to meet. He makes all his staff, all his resources available to us. And whatever items that were down there uh, looking for assistance with, the Senator always immediately uh, assigns resources and help, and he'll make that phone call and write that letter for us uh, when we really need it. Uh, just a few months ago, we received uh, over $3 million in funding from HUD for lead paint debatement here in the city. That was another grant program that we've been chasing hard for a while, and with the Senator's help, we were able to obtain that and, and to have the Senator back here today with an award of over half a million dollars for our fire department is, uh, is critical for the city. And uh, I, I, I truly do appreciate what this equipment means to our firefighters and, and our fire department. And, uh, you know, on a day that we are uh, laying a police officer to rest who lost his life in the line of duty, I think if there's one thing we can all agree upon is that uh, when we send our firefighters into these life-threatening situations on a daily basis that we have to give them the best equipment available and that's what this uh, 
money coming from Washington today will allow us to do. So, Senator, we are eternally grateful for your help in this effort. 